Hello, my name is Courtney Hewinkle. I am the English language teaching consultant for SEED. We're the main distributor and importer of foreign language books in France. Uh, we work with all the major publishers present in, in schools, obviously in France. We are the exclusive distributor for Oxford University Press. So today I'm going to give you uh, a brief uh, rundown of each of the uh, popular secondary courses available in France. Um, I've chosen these titles because they fit um, the French uh, system um, the most out of the Oxford University Press list. Obviously, they publish for uh, the rest of the world as well. Um, but we have uh, a curated list of books that uh, work well and sell well in France. So we're going to have a look at those. Um, one moment. Okay, so here we are. I am at the uh, on my homepage, I suppose, of the Oxford English Hub. So this is what you'll have access to if you request codes for any of the secondary courses to check out. You go to OxfordEnglishHub.com, create an account, um, and enter the codes, and have access to the teacher's digital pack. So students' book, workbook, classroom presentation tools, uh, get to be able to check out the tests and the worksheets and the different resources that come with each of the books. So. Um, Oxford is it obviously a, a very huge publisher, leading publisher for the whole world. Um, and there are lots of books um, that sell everywhere. Um, but we have uh, chosen books uh, that best fit um, what the kind of teaching we do here in France to make it easier for you. So we're gonna have a look at some of those. Um, first book we'll look at is Harmonize. And again, you can ask for codes to check any of these out. A lot of the tools I'm gonna to show, all the tools, um, are the same for any of the course books. So I won't necessarily go into the tools of each of the classroom presentation tools because they will be the same in any book that you choose to look at. But so if you get your codes, you create your account and you go into the material, you'll see this students book classroom presentation tool, workbook classroom presentation tool. Um, you'll see over here, the tests that are downloadable. Uh, in the Get Started, there's lots of information um, about what uh, the writers of the course wanted it to do, how it was conceived of, and, and um, what their uh, goals and objectives uh, um, are for it. Um, in resources, you'll have the teacher's book, uh, you'll have the teacher you'll have the teacher's guide, and you'll have um, worksheets in the audio and the video um, for each of the units. And there's always also a professional development. Um, tab here with different things on for you to um, to to help with your teaching in your own time, not actually for the students, but for you. So if we go back to my courses here, oh, I missed it. Oh, Harmonize level one. Harmonize level one is a lower secondary class course. There's only about, um, there aren't very many secondary courses that really do the college aged. A lot of times they're secondary and they have an elementary level. So sometimes they're used in lower secondary but the content or the images of the kids or whatever um, don't necessarily fit uh, an 11 or a 12 year old. Oxford has two of those courses uh, with very, with different levels. Um, Harmonize, this one is a slightly higher level than the um, the other one I'm gonna show you, um, but sort of a normal level. I guess it, it's the new version of English Plus, which is used uh, in lots of schools and language schools um, across, uh, across France. Um, so it's for basically for 10, 12, 11 to 15 year olds, we'll say, it depends on um, how it's used. But again, it's gonna have content that is interesting for that age. It's going to have, um, you know, the page is going to be um, attractive to a student that age. And obviously, you know, the, the, the course interests and things like that, the themes. So if we go to the contents, we can zoom in to give you an idea of how it's set up, vocabulary, grammar, reading, listening, speaking, writing, uh, and a project. So um, there's also um, um, quite a bit of material for like fast finishers and things uh, mixed in, um, all the skills uh, that you would expect to see in a secondary schools course. So if we just skip through the pages a little bit here, I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So when you zoom in, you'll see uh, these things. 
these are icons. So in this case, if it's a blue joystick or game controller thing, it's going to be a, a game or a flashcard presentation, depending on where it fits in in the unit. So for example, game where and I made it. Okay, so that's something you can have kids come up to the board to do. Um, all the audio is here as well. Um, so if I can find audio. Here's a video. You can have the subtitles on the left, on the bottom, on the right, at the top. And go to the corresponding workbook pages. So if I go here and I see switch books, click on switch books, and we are now on the workbook page. My favorite tool uh, of all of the, of all the Oxford titles is this focus tool. So I click on focus, I'll see these predefined squares. Uh, pop up and I click on it and it just auto focuses on just the, the bit of the page that I want to look at. Show answers and then we can reveal them one by one for some nice interactive uh, answer correction. You'll see here that this activity has three stars because like I said it's a great course for mixed ability classes as well because you'll have different levels of activities within the workbooks. So um, if people are struggling you can give them uh, the one star or two star activities or give everybody that and if people need more to keep them uh, busy while you're busy doing something else, they can, uh, if they're a fast finisher, they can do the three-star activities. So this is a great lower secondary course uh, that is really perfect for those ages. Um, it's going to have a nice balance of all the skills with themes that are that are interesting for that age. Um, you've got also in each of the books, online practice. Online practice for Harmonize comes with the student's book. And this is extra activities for them to do in addition to their workbook or student book activities with audio, with video, um, that is all corrected for you, not just for Harmonize, for all the books, it's all corrected for you. So you just can, they're logged in, if they're signed into your class, then you can sign up to your class, you can just go on, everything's corrected, check to see how well they're doing. It could help you as well, decide what you want to work on in class. If you go in, they're not doing very well in the listening, we need to, we need to work on more, and more on the listening in class and things like that. So here's just a random unit, unit two, We've got some, Vocabulary activities, vocabulary, two sets of vocabulary activities, grammar. The grammar uh, in these books is often starts off with like a little video uh, presentation of the grammar. So this should be one, hopefully. I chose one at random. So yeah, so this will be a little video um, that'll go through the whatever grammar point um, is in this unit. Let's give you a quick. Up early on Sundays. We just skip through it. Positive, like this. We'll go through the rules. You get the uh, you get the idea, and again, that's available for all the courses. So that's um, harmonize. So we're looking at let me just count the number of units here. I forget, and it's sort of like a, a normal, a, a little bit more um, ambitious progression than uh, Project Explorer, which we're going to look at here in a moment. So if we go to the contents here. We're looking at eight units um, for a school year. We go to back to our hub. We want to look at Project Explore. This is a course um, that sells uh, very well as well. You can find a Project Explore. Again, you see the age of the kids. It matches with the age of the kids in your class. And I think that's really important. And there aren't very many 
uh, books that do that from uh, international publishers so uh, distinctly. This is, um, they're both concentrated on projects and collaboration uh, and things like that. But this one's got a little bit more uh, of a mix. You see the age of the kids, it fits um, the age kids you're teaching. Um, a little bit more um, mixture with real images and cartoons uh, and things like that. But it's, um, but it's very popular as well. This one is often used in sort of a mainstream sort of English lesson, uh, English class, whereas Harmonize, the new English plus, is used in more of a sort of an English plus, um, more an advanced uh, level. So like I said, it's great. They've got different options for different teaching situations, both in primary uh, and secondary. Um, so that's, that's one to check out. That's lower secondary. And now for secondary, uh, I suggest taking a look at uh, Life Vision, which uh, does very well. Uh, again, we've got all your teacher's material here. Life Vision is a general course. It's a secondary course that gives you basically everything you need um, for a general English course, but also prepares for exams. Not a specific exam, but exams tend to have similar tasks uh, in them. And so you really, uh, there's exam practice in every unit for strategies and tips and things on how to best um, go about um, taking the exam the day of and preparing for it. So this is a, a good option if you want to uh, have an exam book, but also have fun material to teach with audio and with video and um, all the good things you get out of a general course, but also alongside prepare for exams. A lot of people uh, using this for that purpose. So um, as a as a general course, but also as an exams course, uh, because it's gonna cover the, the, it's a secondary course, so it's gonna cover themes that are interesting uh, for kids. Um, it's going to prepare for uh, exams. It's going to have the fun uh, videos and extra content that you get in a full on uh, course book. As, as opposed to uh, a, just an exam preparation book. So I've got quite a few, uh, there's an exam skills page, for example. I find a lot of the strategy and things can be applied to any exam. Uh, Life Vision also has these 360 uh, videos where you can sort of get inside the video um, there's quite a bit of discussion that you can have um, and activities you can go around that. So I click on the video. Here we are. So like I said, it's a 360 video um, image. So you can sort of move around with it and play with it. and find out about uh, different things. Apologies, my connection isn't great. So just a nice way of making uh, an image a little bit more uh, interactive, different things to do. Also take a look at, and again, there's the online practice. Take a look at insights. I don't remember which one I've got, which is um, slightly more challenging uh, content, I would say, than the life vision. Life vision is sort of like um, the pop music <laughs> um, in the way that it really is supposed to appeal to everybody. Uh, relatively moderate progression, everything you need, obviously, to give them strong language, vocabulary, um, grammar, and communication practice, and writing, all the skills. Um, but but um, Insight is going to contain a little bit more sort of uh, information-rich topics. I can see right away. But it contains, again, everything you need to, to prepare for an exam. Um, you know, above and above, above and beyond.
so there you go. Those are some of the uh, uh, the best selling secondary courses um, for France. Please let me know if you have any questions.